celebrate this feast with an octave because it is the patron saint of the Cathedral Church here in Cincinnati. And a very appropriate feast it is indeed as the cathedral, which means the teaching authority or the throne of doctrine, is chained up not only in Cincinnati, but of course throughout the whole church and especially, first of all, in Rome. So this is a great feast to keep with great devotion and we commemorate St. Paul. And then today, Saints, St. Syriacus and St. Largus and Sparagus, today is as well finally the traditional feast day of the 14 holy helpers. To me, O God, thy saints are made exceedingly honorable. Their principality is exceedingly strengthened. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Before Mass today, we celebrated the devotion of the 13 Tuesdays to St. Anthony. So loved is St. Anthony of Padua throughout the whole church that in some listings of the 14 holy helpers, that is to say, patron saints of certain causes who are especially loved and considered as very powerful in the church, he is listed as well. Because of course we know that we turn to St. Anthony most of all for uh, finding of lost articles. Today is the feast of one of the 14 holy helpers, St. Syriacus, whom we meet each year during Lent. St. Syriacus was a deacon under the Roman Emperor Domitilian. During his cruel persecution, he was uh, imprisoned, but then was released in order to deliver the daughter of the emperor from demonic possession. And then as a favor to the emperor, uh, St. Syriacus agreed to travel to Persia, what is today Iran, to deliver the daughter of Sakhor, the king of that country, who was also possessed by a devil. And in the beautiful medieval book, The Golden Legend, we read that when St. Uh, Syriacus went into the room where this poor, possessed princess was, the devil immediately spoke to him and asked him if his journey wasn't very tiring for him, which, is, which rings true, because that's exactly the kind of a remark that the devil might make on an occasion like that. But the saint ignored the words of the devil and proceeded to expel him. And then he, he returned to Rome, where there was a new emperor, Maximilian. He put him in prison, tortured him with these two other saints, and finally they were put to death. St. Syriacus is invoked for trouble to the eyes, as well as against demonic possession. Along with these 14 holy helpers, St. Anthony, certainly very powerful patron saint. Sometimes, in more modern times, people tended to look down a little bit upon the idea, the medieval mind of a Catholic, to organize saints according to their specialty, as people still do today when they remember the saints, what a particular saint can do to help us, what he's known for. Um, but today, when so many people have almost no idea of the saints anymore, of their beauty, of God's power and his mercy working through them. How important it is for ourselves to know them and to recommend devotions, if necessary, for a particular need of a certain individual, just by means of spreading the knowledge, the love, and the devotion of the saints. How pleasing this work would be to Almighty God to offset this tremendous religious ignorance which leads to so many people being deprived of God's help because they never think to pray to the saints. They never think to invoke all of these strong, wonderful patrons whom Almighty God has given to us. Now it is perfectly true that to look upon St. Anthony of Padua, say, merely as the one who is going to find your keys or your eyeglasses when you've lost them for the umpteenth time is, well, to bring that great saint down quite a bit. Remember, while he was still alive, the Pope, having heard him preach in Rome, saluted him as the Ark of the Testament because he had such a wonderful knowledge of scriptures, the Old and the New Testament. And also he's honored as the Hammer of Heretics because with his knowledge of the Bible, 
He could confound heresies wherever he went. He also preached popular religion, the conversion of people to the following of our Lord, Our Lady, and the Ten Commandments. And in this he was terrifically successful. And yet this saint, who like all the saints is extremely humble, doesn't mind that he's called upon so many times a day all around the world by people who just need to find something that they've lost. I suppose he's settled happily into that niche now. And other saints, they tend, like Syriacus, to be rather more forgotten today. As to this old, there's this old grouping of saints, the 14 holy helpers. But truly, any way whereby we can remember the saints and their powerful patronage with God, as we pray so often in the Psalms, in honor of the apostles, to me, O God, thy friends are made exceedingly honorable. Their principality is exceedingly strengthened. Anything like that gets great honor to God and helps us in our own spiritual life. Because it makes us realize that there is something outside of us in daily life. It's not just ourselves. The devil and his message of naturalism is always whispering that invidious message in our ear. But when we remember humbly to ask God through help, for help through his princes, and that's what the saints are, so many of them on golden thrones surrounding the adorable Trinity and Our Lady in Heaven, how pleasing that is to God, what glory is given to God by acknowledging his work in the saints, humbly acknowledging our need, and confessing, too, that our Lord hath care of us. As our Lord says, if a single little bird doesn't fall from the sky without the permission of the Heavenly Father, surely he takes care of all of our needs in so many ways. When we acknowledge the mercies of our Lord by asking them for us, even in seemingly small as well as obviously great needs and intentions, God is honored and glorified and our spiritual lives are bound to develop and to expand and to grow better. Obviously, there is nothing of our traditional Catholic faith and devotions that is not beautiful and holy and profitable to our souls. Know your saints. Know your patron saints. Invoke them in need. And when you come across someone else, promote the devotion. Say, well, say a Hail Mary in honor of Tell people that even non-Catholics or Jews, get them to say those prayers. Very often out of interest, they will. How many Muslims there are in the Middle East who visit, say, Mount Carmel and pray to the Blessed Mother and the Prophet Elias. Just because that's always been. And how many graces these poor infidels must receive as a result of it. God's mercy is infinite. But there are very few people who are begging our Lord for mercy today. Let us always be suitors of God's infinite mercy. And then, simply because of people's self-interest almost, get them interested in the saints, because the saints will lead them by, a, by one straight road to Almighty God. God bless you. In the name of the Father,